from different parts of the world, people have witnessed the manifestation of the resurrected power of Christ through the Word of God. This message of power and grace, rendered in words, has brought deliverance and liberation to the lives of many. Today, we bring you excerpts from a special meeting with the man of God, Apostle Innocent Edo. Primarily, what you need is not prophecy. Even though we do deliverance, primarily, what you need is not deliverance. Number one thing you need from God is His Word. Prophecy will fail. The miracle will disappoint you. But the word of God can fail you. What keeps us ahead is the word. If you have the word, you know how to navigate the situation. They come like this, you handle it. And you, you speak the see until you speak the right word over the right that situation, the situation can change. you have come to die your life right now. Where you don't know where to go, you don't know who to meet. You thought you had prayed and fasted, and even till now, you thought something would have happened. Do you know how many times I have taken your name and your matter to God? When I don't know what to do as a man, but I say, God, what is the next level? Apostle Innocent. What hearing? With your hands. This service is going to a different dimension. Yeah. I, I'm trying to kin in. I'm trying to bring what I'm feeling, what I'm seeing back here. Yes, heaven is here right now. Amen. Somebody will have instant testimony Amen. in this service. Those of you watching us at home, wherever you're watching us, this is a moment. And some of you, something will be jumping out of your body. Yeah. Heaven is here. Can you see? If you can see, uh -huh. Jesus. Heaven is here. Can you see? If you can see it, you are right there. Heaven is here. Heaven is here. Can you see? Can you see? Heaven is here. Heaven is here. Can you see? If you can see, you are there. Come up, he died. There is water that flow from the throne of grace. Heaven is here. Will you come up? Let's swim in the Holy Ghost. Heaven is here. Heaven is here. Can't you see? Heaven is here. Can you see? Heaven is here. Can you see? As you can see, you are right there. Heaven is here. Heaven is here. The air is water that flow from the throne of grace. Yes, heaven is here. Come on. 
let us swim in the, in the Holy Ghost. Heaven is here. Can you see? If you can just wave your hands. Heaven is here. Yes, it's right inside of you. Yes, it's inside of you. Yes, it's right inside of you. There is no weeping. No weeping in heaven. There is no money. In heaven, no money. there is no pain no in, heaven. in heaven. There is no sickness, in, no heaven. sickness in heaven. There is no darkness, no darkness in, heaven. in heaven. I've only seen you. Yes, it's you. If you can see. Yes, you're right there. Heaven is in you. Heaven is in me and heaven is in you. And you carry it inside of you. If you can see. Yes, you're right there. Heaven is in you. Heaven is in me. Yes, it's here. I hear no language. Mm. Is a language of heaven. Is a language of heaven. I hear a music. Hear a music. Is a music that angels sing. Is a music that angels sing. I pause for a moment. I pause for a moment. Then I hear the story. I hear the story. They say here comes heaven. Here comes heaven. Heaven is here. Yes. Just for a moment. Just for a moment. If you can see it, you are right there. Heaven is inside of you. Heaven is inside of me. Can't you see? It's so real, my brother. It's so real, my brother. Heaven is real. So sorry. Heaven is so real. If you can see, you are right there. Heaven is in you. Then I pause for a moment. I hear the song. I hear the song. It's a song from my from my boat. I hear the music. I hear the music. The angel play. Yes, Lord. I'm ready to dance ready. with the tones of the music. With the tones of the music. I feel the Holy Ghost. I feel the Holy Ghost moving inside of me. Inside of me. Lord, I worship. Lord, I worship. Yes, I worship. Yes, I worship. With my hands lifted oh. on high. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 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 If you can see, you'll be right there. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
Jesus. 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 How can I worship you enough? Jesus. Everything that we see and think of is just you, Lord. And many times the situation around us want to feel that you are not there with us. And many, many times the people that live around us want to prove us wrong. That all this believing and faith we talk about is nonsense. But we just have this inner conviction. We just have this deep side. We just have this strong feelings inside of us that we know we know that you are there. I want to I want to just continue believing and living for you. Now get to heaven and see that all my life I was right. And to disbelieve and be carried away by circumstances at the end I say I died no. I rather trust believe in you. I find out that it was a mistake that never to believe I knew you. I found out that I was making a mistake. Help us, Lord. Despite the situation and circumstances around us, to continue to believe and trust in your word. Yes, so that we will not allow our feelings and circumstances around us to take us away from you, Lord. Jesus we know that you are real and you are true we've seen the works of your hands we have seen the wonders of your name how can we not believe in you Lord we trust in you and we feel this heaven yes you are here Lord and this is what you came to establish Jerusalem the peace of Jerusalem yes the new Jerusalem yes he said I will lead you if only you trust in me he said Moses only believe in me and I will lead you if you trust in me. Yes, some trust in their horses. Some trust in their chariots. Some trust in their strength and their money. Some trust in their ability. Some trust in the government. Some trust in their friends. But I choose to trust in the name of the Lord of hosts. I trust in you, Lord. Yes. Yes, how great is our God. How great in his name. He's the greatest God. Forever the same. He rose by the word on the my sea he said I will lead you holy trust in you how great is our God how great is our God how great is his name He's the greatest God forever but the same. He rose by the water on a mighty rusty. He said, I will lead you. 
Holy Trust me. I will trust you forever. Please stay tuned. Apostle Innocent will be right back. To function in grace is to be obedient to God. No matter how you think you pray, if you miss services, you are missing grace. No matter the level of grace upon your life you think you have, as you miss fellowship, you reduce the grace you have. You are spending I replace it with grace. Amen. Grace walking in you. 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 Today in Carnation. by might it is not by power yes but by my spirit says the lord the same anointing uh -huh. that ezekiel effect uh -huh. and he was out from the sanctuary yes and the anointing carried him yes he started walking uh -huh. he turned to water uh -huh. and he get to ankle hey. and the man said come forward yes because there is more uh -huh. and the water get to the knee hey. and the man said come forward fire fire there is more fire fire and he go forward fire he fire to the lawrence uh -huh. and the man said no there is more yes and as he moved forward uh -huh. and he said i could not walk yes and i find out i begin to swim yes there is such an anointing uh -huh. that when you come on you uh -huh. or when he 
become on you. Uh -huh. Everything around you uh -huh. have no choice. Uh -huh. You must start responding Amen. positively. Amen. I don't know uh -huh. what your daughter has said to you. Hey, hey. I don't know uh -huh. what your finance is saying. Hey, hey. But I am here Fire. with this anointing uh -huh. that will literally uh -huh. take you from the point of minus uh -huh. and put you to a point of plus. Uh -huh. Anointing that breaks the yoke. Hey. Also innocent, worth hearing. How great is our God? How great is His name? He's the greatest God. Forever the same. He rose by the water. On the mighty rising, he said, I will leave. Only trust in me. How great is that God? How great is his name? He's the greatest God forever at the sea. He rules by the water on the mighty rescue. He said, I will leave. How many of you can dare trust the Lord? It's not just to sing it, it's to trust Him. It's to trust Him in the midst of trials, it's to trust Him in the midst of trouble, it's to trust Him in the midst of frustration. When frustration hits your door, you feel like giving up. At that point, you don't even know where to go and what to do. You don't know the right step to take. You don't even know the right word to say at that point. All you could see is frustration. All you could see is discouragement. All you could see, you don't feel like moving on. How great is our God? How great is His name? He's the greatest God forever the sea. He rose by the water on a mighty crescent. He said, I will leave Holy trust in he told the children of Israel, He said, I'm taking you to the promised land. And yet, the Egyptians, the enemy were after them. And he said, Trust in me, and I'll take you to the promised land. And they follow without knowing the right way to go. And here come the big ch challenges, the greatest trials. They walk and walk in the wilderness until they got to the point where there was a rest. They told us that this is the road. And we don't have a sheep. We don't even have a, any, any, anything to cross this sea. What are we going to do? And the Egyptians are coming after us. What are we going to do? Moses, you should have told us. He brought us to, to wilderness to kill us and to flush us and put us inside this sea that nobody knows where, uh, where, where we are and what happened to us. He should have told us you made a plan with God to come and kill us. You gave me that prophecy and you said it was going to happen until now. Innocent, you should have told me that it's a lie and you should have told me and it's not going to happen. We have come to the point now. No road, nowhere to go. What am I going to do? I'm not even paying my house rent. I can't even pay. I don't know what is happening. I have not seen money for the past two months.
lost in my head. Wow, where am I going from here? The ancient, the Israelite, they got to that point. All they could see is no hope. All they could see is their enemy killing them. All they could see is that Moses deceived them. All they could see is that this God is not strong enough. And they got there. And they said, Moses, where are we going from here now? Why do you brought us this part to kill us? And now no road. And no sheep. No, no boat. For them, for the thousands and millions of them to cross. And they, they got to that point where discouragement hit their door. Well, they have lost hope for the next level. You have come to die your life right now. Where you don't know where to go. You don't know who to meet. You thought you had prayed and fasted. And even till now, you thought something would have happened. We have told you, miracle was going to happen. Something was going to happen. But now, nothing is happening. And you feel like giving up. You feel like being discouraged. I've got good news for you. And he got to that place. Moses himself, as the head, didn't even know what to do. And Moses he excused the thousands and the millions and he stepped aside. He said, Oh God, what am I going to do? Do you know how many times I have taken your name and your matter to God personally when I don't know what to do as a man? But I say, God, what is the next level? What is the next step for this man from this moment? I can feel your pain. I can know. I can see what you're going through. But now, God, what am I going to do? Moses asked, God, what is the next level from here? Yeah. What am I going to do now? What am I going to do now? And the Egyptians are coming after us. And we are facing death right now. God, our hope is lost. And God showed up. He said, Moses, Moses, Moses. He said, this is not time to lament. This is not time to cry. This is not time to complain. This is not time to give up. I am the God of your father. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I am that I am. I change generous not. I am Jehovah. El Shaddai. Ah. Moses said, I have heard that name. You told me before. What am I going to do now? He said, Moses, tell the people to move forward. I am here with a news for somebody. You have come to that point where you don't know where to go. Where you don't know what to do about that situation. I've got good news for you. Ah! Ah! We trust you were blessed watching this broadcast. For more information, visit Calm Nation Italy. Address via Alfredo Calzone 6C40128 Bologna or call plus 39051359717 or plus 39351023 or visit Calm Nation Canada. Address 123 Wendell Avenue, Toronto, Ontario. Major intersection Wilson Avenue and Western Road. But you can call us on 905 554 5849 or 647 916 5994 or visit our website www.calmnationcdn.com or www.innocenthdcci.org.